What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one podcast for girl groups with the number one fanboys. I am your host, Justin Torno, with my co-host, the man in the middle, Fall Girl Brian Mimper. What's up? Let's clap it up. up. Let's clap up? it up. Let's clap it up. Woo! Hey, this is episode 120. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a lot. lot that's a lot of episodes. That's a lot of sodes for all you people out there keeping track at home. That's like... Is that like if we did one... Every day for a month, like four months. Yeah, because 120 is 30 days in a month. Yes. That's four months straight. Yes. Wow, that would be wild. <laughs> okay, 120. That's sick. I have the, oh, I have these interesting facts that I looked up for some reason yesterday to start on a podcast. Today. That's how we're doing it. Come so, on. fun fact for everybody out there. I went through every month last year, right? Yeah. And I found which country outside the U.S. listened to us the most in that month, okay? Okay. So in January of 2021, our number one listened to country outside of the U.S. was Canada. February nice. was Canada. March, it was Canada. April, it was Belgium. May, wow. it was Australia. June, it was Norway. In July, it was Canada. In August, it was Ireland. Then in September, it was a tie between Indonesia and the United Kingdom. October was the Philippines. Then November and December is back to back Australia. Hmm. So in all of 2021, our number one most listened to country was Australia, outside of the U.S. Then we had Canada, Ireland, the Philippines, and the United Kingdom. There we go. Worldwide. Let's go. Prestige worldwide. Um, That's awesome. And for all time listens, number one's Canada, number two's Indonesia. Number three is the Philippines. Number four is the United Kingdom. And number five is Ireland. And so far, in January of 2022, our number one most listened to country outside the U.S. is Norway. For anybody who's curious. Clap it up for Norway. We always say we have people who listen all over the world. But that's like... There's the fact. Shout out to Norway for supporting us this year so far. What's up, guys in Norway? We love you. It's kind of crazy. We promise. Yeah, it's weird to think about just because we're in the studio here. It's weird to think about... That Ooh, anybody that. outside of my parents listen to us and me? Really anyone at all. Even if it's literally the number one of one person listening besides you or me. Yeah, like you said, it's weird. Let alone seeing results from... I just from know how they hear about us and find different, us. Different. I don't know. Because as you know, when you Google us, we don't show up. Because Google hates us and it's unfair so, because we're the best K-pop podcast. But it's We not didn't even, get to interview Blitzers. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like even like, oh, there's like 10 listens. It's like hundreds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And it's, and like total numbers of country, countries reached oh, is a ton. I mean, unbelievable. A ton. Anywhere there's the internet, maybe. Probably not. But literally, dude, there's still a, ton. a lot, though. I mean, even there's that, even one counts. So, yeah, it's, it's weird to think about even being 120 episodes in or multiple years like we are. It's still crazy to just be like, wow, someone took, I don't know, X amount of time, even if it was like nothing to like see what we were about. That's like the best. What's really crazy is I remember vividly when we made our very first one, I was like, gosh, I'll be so excited if we even get 10 lessons. On oh, this. no, it really was just like. Actually, that's, I think that's one of our top five most listened to episodes is our very first one. It really was just like, you know, we're doing it for fun. And if someone else listens, that's a bonus. And we put like no expectation on it. We're like, man. If we can get just a couple, that'll be sick. Like, job well done. So I just want to get as many views as the number of episodes. So if we get 120 listens on this, I'll be super. That would be awesome. I would love to get as many listens as listens as episodes moving forward. That'd be sick because it's only going up. So. It's just weird to think about how many people have heard us talk about random stuff and explain to them how easy. And we're just works. in the, and we're just in the we're just in our humble studio here. With our whole crew and lighting set up and makeup. And it's one of those things where like, you see a show and they have a whole crew of people and you think there's nobody there. Yeah. But they just have a stage set up that looks just like their house in that way. Like the cooking shows. Yeah. Like Paula Dean. It's just full, full house over here. It's just like a remake of their actual kitchen at their house but with a That's huge stage crew. That's what we do crew. with our uh, 250 employed uh, men back here and women doing their job making the podcast run. Pretty much. Got to make it run smooth, you know. But yeah, it's it's crazy. It always is. Even being so many episodes in, just to like hear that, it's like wow, that's awesome. That like someone would just take their time and listen to us, even for a little bit. Like that's the best. Like legit, we love everyone that listens. So thank you. Also, thank you to Reddit for giving me a free platform to spam our content on <laughs> to get those Honestly, views up. Honestly, that's uh, 
One of the hardest working members of our team. Reddit. It really is. Teamwork makes the dream work, and Reddit makes that happen for us. So thanks to Reddit for uh, getting all those ups and downs votes. And yeah, thanks <laughs> there's to There's uh, been lots, so. Thanks to everybody who's listened to us so hey, far. Hey, yeah, thank you so much, guys. I wish, like. In the wise words of Dewey Cox, it's been a wild ride. <laughs> it really has. We, uh, we promised eventually once the pandemic's over, we're going to make our fun uh, tour in Norway. So <laughs> We did say once the pandemic's over and start going to shows, you'll see us out in shows. Giving away free stuff. I still have boxes and boxes of free stuff to give away to people. Yeah, we just haven't had any. In we literally time. got it all and the pandemic happened. We couldn't even go so anywhere. We went to a show and then the pandemic happened. So we haven't really been able to obviously do anything. And we're not, you know, there's nothing right now planned for us to that we're going to. Um, the but only... yeah, eventually... We will. The only thing that I think that we ever went to or were we able to give stuff away is when we saw Itzy. You saw Itzy, yeah. And that's when a Korean mom gave out all those pins. We gave out every single pin we had, thanks to her. I wonder how I hope she's doing okay. That was like I don't know. I, I don't know why I was thinking about it. Like whenever we get to go to a show next, or I don't know what one it's going to be. Hopefully sooner than later. But like if someone did come up and just say like, "Hey, like I know you got," I'd like die of of just I could my life could be done then. I'll Dude, die. I'll, I'd be so happy. I'd like, this is the greatest moment of my life. Here's money for you. <laughs> I'll give <laughs> people, up free money. To I'll anyone give money if probably. anyone's like, I listened to you. I've listened to you guys. I guarantee you if we go to shows, there's going to be at least one person who's heard of us. I, I don't know if Korean mom, or not Korean mom, but if K-pop mom was pulling our leg. But she said, when she handed out the pins, someone's like, I heard of them guys. But she did say that. I do remember She did that. say that. I didn't forget that. And actually, we were a good amount of episodes in when we did it. We so were. It's we not were. like we just put out one episode we, or something. No, we've come a long way. Yeah, we had official merch then. <laughs> it was, uh, we had official merch, but we've come a long way. But yeah, if someone like, like on, like with uh, just like at a show and someone's like, hey, like I've listened to you guys, I would literally be like, here is 25 bucks for you. Here's everything I <laughs> Please own. Please take a picture of me so I can put this on my wall. Here's my card. Person. We would spam it everywhere and hang it in my office. I would love to, I would definitely hang that picture up and have them sign it. <laughs> it's like, you are my hero. Thank you for your service. That would be pretty cool. Hopefully, well, the yeah, and to make that happen, we actually, actually have to go to something. So hopefully we'll have a chance to go soon since, you know, we kind of haven't been able to recently. True. It's not like we've just like not been able to go to any, or like we haven't chose not to. It's just... There's literally been nothing to go to, so. Although a lot of people on our Discord went to see Twice. They did. We had our friends, uh, a lot of friends go see Twice in Los Angeles. Um, looked awesome. It did look cool. Looked really awesome. I mean, again, if you know us, we had the greatest Twice experience of all time. But, I will say. Maybe the greatest life experience of all time. I mean, it was, I mean, I'm not even, like, to, not to brag, but we did have, like, the greatest concert Twice you can't do better than what we did, just as a fact. Cause unless had, you're literally on stage in the group. Unless you're, like, <laughs> hanging out with them and, like, with them. Interviewing I them. don't even know what you're doing, but, like, we had the best experience possible because we had the greatest tickets possible. And that was awesome. But with all the videos and stuff and all the songs that they've come out since we saw them in 2019, I kind of was like, man, I would love to definitely see Twice again, but they're not coming very close, so it's okay. It would be sick to see them play Cry For Me. Yeah. And just, Hello. And they had a, they have a lot of cool outfits that they've wore from like their music videos. And it's the the pics and stuff have definitely made me be like, oh man, that'd be really fun. But they're just too far away. Like True. it's not, it's they're just not close to us. I don't know why uh, they're probably not coming to Chicago for reasons, whatever. But if they're in Chicago, I'd be like, yeah, let's at least try. But people in Harmony, I think, is coming to Chicago. They are. They're that'd coming. That'd be kind of cool. There's, to see. there's like K-pop shows happening. Monster X was here. Uh, P1 Harmony's coming twice is on their tour. I'm sure there'll be some more. So people. I'm hoping we can get some more. I don't know. Maybe more in the fall time. Maybe I'm hope I'm hoping maybe a summer one. I don't know. I guess we're actually getting sort of close. So that would have to be announced eventually. But I don't know. I don't even know who it. I mean, maybe since twice is maybe that means maybe like Itzy will. I'm not sure. Itzy has a lot more music, so they could definitely have a concert. Um, or this new group that's debuting for some reason that I've never seen anything you know, about them debuting. So what's their name? N Nimix? N N I don't know. It's weird. I've seen... It's a new JYP group. It's it's like the JYP, like the black, like how YG has the black or what label. Yeah. It's like that label, I think. I don't know. I've seen stuff about them for so long now, like members. I never knew what was official, never knew what wasn't, but apparently now they are debuting. They've got a lot of girl groups. And I'm not sure what... I've heard the song... Very interesting. Interesting. Obviously, we'll check them out, but it does seem like they're officially coming out now as like a group. So, 
that's cool. Good for them. I've just seen so much about them and so many people like talk about them. And now I'm like, I don't know if anyone's talking about, I don't know what to believe, but apparently they're coming. So we'll, we'll see. Stay tuned. Good old the mix. On that. I don't know about the name. I already kind of hate it, but that's okay. The mix. Um, Probably has some weird, deep, dumb meaning. The sure. lure. It always, it always lure. does. It always does. I'm tired of the lure. We don't need <laughs> that anymore. So deep. I'd be down with a Luna concert. That'd be sick, fun. too. I don't know. They There's did a have their online people. concert they just had. If they had a concert in Korea, maybe that. A Luna concert would be nice. Still holding out for that Tastemasters WJSN concert. Dude, I need to give you some WJSN. If Everglow can happen, WJSN can happen. Especially with all their um, subunit stuff. That'd be sick. Oh, my gosh. That'd be the best. Trying to hit that Super Yuppers and that Humph and that Easy. That's three songs right there. Dude. That's a third of the show, maybe. And they've had a lot of title tracks, so... Yeah, seriously, like, Unnatural would be dope. I mean, it's been good stuff. They could definitely have a concert. I, do, I just don't know all the ins and outs of the Tastemaster. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. I don't but either. that's who got Everglow to come, and we had to find a way to get tickets, and we did, but whatever. But speaking of exciting concerts, this has nothing to do with that. Heck yeah. So, <laughs> great segue into today's episode. We're usually pretty good at segues. Because so. Joss has no idea what's going on. Nope, not sure today. And I'll be honest with you. I don't know if I really Neither know Neither do I, on. and it's over. But, <laughs> it's about that time of year again. You know what time that is? Is that a no? Oh, let me think. I have no idea. <laughs> it's time for the Fantasy Draft. Yeah! But, this year, it has a twist. Okay. So what's better than a Fantasy Draft? Keeper League. I don't know. A random automated Fantasy there Draft. There we go. Please put BTS out. BTS still in it. Okay. But here's the rules. Because obviously if anyone listened to us the first year, it's just him and I. Okay. Second year, we had a bunch of people that drafted with us that were in our Discord. This year, I have the same people in it. They don't know it yet. Okay. They'll find out later. But the rules are same. Each 1 million views in one point. Each stage wins two points. Mm -hmm. Comebacks five. Mm -hmm. Top out of 200. We're not counting Japanese releases this year. Sure. That's fine. So... This is going to be the exciting part. Much like how the world works in normal sports, the lowest person is going to get the first pick. Go but for it. We're randomly picking out of these bulls that I have because I went off ranker and we ranked the uh, like highest. Well, I don't know if you guys ever go on there. It's like vote on by fans and stuff. Yeah. So based off like that and stuff like that, I have five girl groups, five boy groups randomly in this bull that I have here. Mm-hmm. And you're going to pick out, and they're all going to be like, I guess you would deem who I would have as number one picks. Like, who would be the best of the best. Right? Yeah. So we're going to go through for all six of them. We'll pick the names out. That's who the person gets. The roster is going to be six. I don't care about solo artists this year or how many boy groups, how many girl groups, just whatever you have. It's just right? six total. Yes. Then later on, I'll tell everybody in the trap. In the chat, in the chat, <laughs> the trades about trades and stuff in the chat, but you can like trade, pick up, same as before, right? Sure, it's just however the groups get assigned to the people, it's random, but you have the same shock. So, when we do the first round, we're gonna pick from the one bowl, right? Mm -hmm. Second round, whichever, since there's only six of us, will be four groups. I'll put them in the two bowl, we'll mix them up, you'll pull out of that, and then for the last four, it'll just be a random pile of the other 30 groups that I have that, yeah. Could have, it'll make sense when you do it. Don't so, worry about no, it. No, no, yeah, you're good. I mean, so you still should get some pretty good people. Oh, you'll, you're guaranteed to get somebody good. Like, you'll guarantee... Like, so, like, some... right now, the number one pick's going to Mango because Mango finished last last year. Clap it up, yeah. So, do you want to pick or me to pick? You can go, but you pick first. Actually, you pick, so I gotta pick, I'll got to. i pick my own next. Okay. <laughs> so, Mango's number one so team... So, this is the first pick in the draft. First pick in... Going to Team the 2022... Mango. You don't know it yet, but it's going to be good. Is, because you got... Twice. That's pretty good. That's a good pick. So now that's just done. You can just leave, just that leave it over here. And then next, hard. since I finished second to last, like Who's I did last year. Dude. Well, I guess technically it was last because. Imp improvement. So. Let's you see. were second and last. <laughs> I was. <laughs> My team is TXT. That's good. So next we have. Oh, the only person that I replaced. I don't know if I said it or not. Was I took out Jonathan, I put in Mike, because Mike wanted to draft with us again this year. Totally but we're fine. not doing it live, because that's just a lot of coordination work. And I don't know if we'd be able to get that Let done. Let me tell you, that was fun one time. Yeah. But so, it's nice to, nice to do this. 
So who's up now? You pick, then I'll pick for Zach, then you'll pick yourself because you're. So who who's this? This pick? is for Mike. All right, Big Mike. Here we go. He wasn't in it last year, right? No. So your debut pick. This is his first ever pick the first franchise. Pick of all time is Big Bang. That's pretty good. They're coming back. You know year. what? If they're coming back, you're gonna get some points. Yeah, okay, that's guaranteed for me. So all then right, at the fourth Zag's pick, turn. you got Zeg. Let's see Zeg's got. Itsy. There you go. Nice. That's a pretty good one. That's good. And then you can pick yourself. All right, my pick. Where did I finish? You finished like fourth. Fourth? Yeah. Right in the middle of the pack. Nice. All right. Come on, BTS. Stray Kids. All right. Yeah. That's fine. You guys Not better terrible. do something. Not terrible. I need like him to come back. Darn it, I want BTS. <laughs> Let's see. Next we have Josh. This is guaranteed oh, to be no. BTS. Oh, no. BTS, I'm quitting. We're oh, it's Red Velvet. Okay, that's fine. I mean, they are coming back. They're coming back next month. I also want to get this done now because there's been a lot of comebacks announced for March, which is in like a week. When did we draft last year? I think it was around like this time last year. Yeah, I don't really remember. Off the look. Man, that um, was... Next is Arsis. I'm just like getting a headache thinking about. It. I mean, it worked like great. Like honestly, it wasn't, that took a lot of planning. It wasn't even like hard to do. It was just like the preparation was what was like a lot. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everyone. And there it is, folks. BTS Maybe off the board. Arsis got Arsis BTS. Gone. So um, next we have our reigning champ, Marcus. Marcus. Let's see. He's not gonna get twice again this year. Gonna get IU. <laughs> Maybe. He got Ace Ball. Okay. That's pretty good because Ace Ball crushed good. it last year. Yeah, they're really good. All right, cool. All right, so that's round one. So we have these ones left. They're going to go in this bowl with the number two picks. So you could still have a chance of getting a number one one. That'd be good. Okay. Right? But this is going to be even more fun because uh, since we did it backwards for that one, we're going to flip a coin. Heads are going in the same order. Tails are going in reverse. Serpentine. It's a good old snake. Hell yeah. All right, let's see it. Tails. So now Marcus gets the first pick. Marcus gets a pick again. Back to back, who's that's he getting? That's huge, that's huge, because he got NCT Dream. That's a team Nice. Next, we have Arsis. Let's see who Arsis is going to get. again. <laughs> what if <laughs> he did? really did? What if it was just twice? It's freaking stack like pancakes. Yeah, Idol. I don't know about that one, Boom, but again, it was random. Next, we got... Well, watch, watch Idol just like break. Here, I'll pick Josh's if you want to pick your own. Oh, uh, sure. Watch Idol Here. just come back with Sujin and come back 15 oh, times. Oh gosh, it could be anything. Break him up, break him up. Is this Josh? Yeah. He got... Okay. Damn, Josh, you got a better team than you did last year. Yeah. It's amazing how random doesn't get you JYP. <laughs> or G-Friend when they didn't come back. It's crazy Justin, how bad his picking was. Let's see who Justin's got. Ooh, I'll take Blackpink. That's pretty good. Let's go. Hopefully they do something. I'll say if they come back this year, it's uh... They kind of were off just last year, so, so hopefully that means this year they actually come back. All right, Scream. Let's see Zeg. Who does Zeg got? Screamcatcher. <laughs> Fate. Fate. That was Scream. You want Scream? You got, you got it. You gotcha. You always get Scream on your one. All right, here we go. Next pick Mike. is Mike again. His second overall pick. Wow, fate, Mama Moo. Dude, that's a good one. He, he would, this would be his actual pick. My man is out here just actually <laughs> picking his team. <laughs> just us. bristling with savvy vets. He is, yeah. Next is Fog. Let's see, I got TXT so far. It's not a bad first round pick, you know? Here we go. Let's see who you got. Who it is, is. It is. 17. Okay. Got a lot of boy groups Stacking out here up this the year. boys. Stacking hey. up the boys. Not a bad thing. Next, we have Mango. All right. End of round two. This is the last pick of round two. We're at the end of round two. Here it is. Mango, you get Super Junior. Hey. Come on down. We'll see how that turns out. But the awards are doing something. They right. might have a comeback. All right. I'll Let's play see. part two. Heads are going in the same order. And, the is, other, and then if we get tails, we're just going to start with Marcus again. Yep. Oh. Is it a snake again? <gasps> nope. I can't see. So, Mango. Mango. Got to so put these ones in here. So, it is a snake. <laughs> Technically. To, right now, it is. It's weird That's because each way, it could be a snake. All right. So, now it's just oh, sure, everybody in the pile. Yeah. So, there's like a bunch of them in here. So, there's a lot now. So, you can Still a couple second rounds. Actually, there's 
Is there? Did we get all the one seats? There might be a couple ones left. There might How be many ones. ones do you have over? Because I got a one in the second round. Two, three. There might be. Then there's probably one. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Mang Mango. Yep. Team Mango will be drafting treasure. There you go. Solid boy group pick. I like that we're just having teams to a number and that's it. No, like, separating of, like, oh, they ran out of boy groups, so no more. You know what that's I mean? That's what I'm saying. Let's see. It's more easy this way. Fog's got... No, oh, nice. Oh, that's a good pick. You did it! No, that's going to be good because they're actually going to do stuff. Yeah, hopefully. Like, hopefully come back. I will say, I thought it's or it's I thought Eisen was gonna do stuff too, and they did not. So well, yeah, I, you. I think you'll be okay with next that. Next, we got Mike. All right, Mike. Who does he have? He has Mamamoo and Big Bang. So who else does Mike like? That Nizzy you? It is that. secret number for Mike. Secret number. Not bad. That could be points. So, like I said, based off I guess popularity rankings, whatever. How I I labeled everything. Yeah. Um. So ones and twos were definitely the ones that were like really popular groups that did good last year and they had a lot of views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twos kind of like they were up there, but they weren't you know obviously good to be the ones. Yeah. And then this is everything that could be like a three seed to like yeah this a, is just, a fifteen. Seed. This is the rest of the teams. All right. So next we got Zag, and then it's you again. Let's see. Zag is gonna have promise nine. Promise nine. Not bad. Just missed out on comeback, but that's okay. Oh, I might have another one. Next, we got JT, third pick. All right, third pick is, if I could open it. Oh, my girl. Oh my we'll girl. see. I don't know how that'll turn out. Hopefully, okay. They can tend to come back a lot. Yeah. This is so terrible. So, Josh is he's going to get uh, BTS again. The BTS Japanese version. Japanese BTS. They should just be two things. They'd still, someone would still get hella points. There should be a B, a T, and an S. Winner. Good luck with that. You never know. Next is Arsis. Arsis. Let's see what he got. Dun, dun, dun. He got A, B, 6. Go A, B, 6 Because we did, these are three, right? So then we have three more after this. Yeah, we're halfway through the draft. Way. Halfway through the the uh, the third draft we've ever had. Um, Marcus, let's see who Marcus is gonna get. I hope he just gets other NCT and just runs train on everybody. NCT one two seven. Oh, it could be anybody. Golden the Child. Golden Child. The game is the game. Yep. It really does. All right, you get that coin out. Now we're halfway through. All right, this is we're going to the the second set of three second here. Snakes. Let's see, you think it's going to go back to the other way? I don't know. <laughs> nope. Mango's going first. So, Mango again. Yep. Okay, here we go, Mango. Oop, those ones are stuck Mango's together. Gonna... She got Omega X. You know, I feel like those are boy groups that just, like, come back, you know? Like, yeah, like, really I feel like realized. all kinds of boy groups that always come back. They just, like, come back and be like, oh, well, that's points. Just add up the mid-season the mid points. Let's see, Fog gets... Oh, that's a good one. Your team's looking really good. That's a scoop. That's a good team because they are coming back. Like this just reminds me because it's funny because every time anyone does like a fantasy draft in like sports and I'm involved, yeah. the person who just does a random draft and picks the best players always kills everybody. Dude, and sure. I like think and strategic, try to plan it out and it just never works. Yeah. Now we're all random. So the randomness will work for someone. True. It might work for everybody. You never know. Here we go. Next pick is the Rose. Oh you know what's funny? I put a post on Reddit, like I always do, yeah. about what groups people really want to like, look into and get into more, and they just never had the chance to do it. And like one of the most popular ones was the Rose. Really? Yeah. So it's like, a pretty popular group. Well. Next we have Zeg. Who could it be? Wavy? What's up, Wavy? Next we have JT, the zone pick. Uh, extraordinary hero. Ooh. I'll take it because they will probably do stuff. Yeah, they will probably do stuff. And actually, I think a lot of people like them. They are kind of a trendy. People are super trendy nervous. pick right now with because they're like different. And they like just started. Like they just. That's always you know. a key. I feel like in the draft. 
If you can get someone just starting out, that's good. Next, we have Josh with A Pink. There's the last two seasons. Yeah. Just missed them. Just missed. It's all right. You went a whole year last year with JYP and whoever else. Yeah. I don't even know. Next, we have Arsis. Arsis. All right, we got it here. He got Astro. So that was a two seed. So there we go. That's all the two seeds. So I think there's still one one seed in there. Mango. There's still Cherry Bullet on the board. Yeah, I think they're there. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't remember what all groups are actually. I think there's been a lot of guy groups. There's a there's still a lot of pieces of paper here, so it really Let's could be see. anybody. Marcus gets mm. Rocket Punch. Okay. Yes, they are. I didn't even know that until today. I mean, it might have come out today, but. All right. Next round. I don't remember what selections were. That's what it everyone is. know right now. Is my uh, coin flipping skills are on point. They're really, they're really. Yeah, serpentine. So we're going back. Uh, yes. So. Let me pick Marx's though, so that way you can do your own. Okay. Although I don't know if it'll really work out for you to do our own. Oh, it's too late. I already picked. Dude, it's okay. The hand was in the cookie jar. Ooh, Marcus, who you Marcus. get? Marcus. Back to back picks. You get P1 Harmony. All right. U.S. Tour. You can go see him live. You can go yell at him to get points for you. Very true. You can coach Next, him up in we have person. Arsis. I feel like I picked every single one of Arsis's, and here we go because he has Luna. That's pretty solid. Okay. Next to Josh. Who like loons do? Josh was in one boy group. Wow. He so blew. right now he's going to get MC and D. There you go. This is honestly probably going to work out better for a lot of these people because they're just not boy groups so they don't know who's good and who's not good. Very true. Let's see who's JT guy. My is Wacky Mackey. Hey. They're due. They're God, definitely due for on. how they come back. Come on, guys. Oh, that's super far good. Perfect. Did All it. right, next pick. Next is Zeg, and he's going to get... Kingdom. Okay. Sick group. Sick group. Nice. Now we got Mike. All right, Big Mike, who do we got in your debut? No, I'm feeling pretty good about my team right now. Your team's honestly uh, looking real good. He got Winnius. Winnius. Yeah, Team, is he gonna get the last one seed? Yeah, seriously, that would be that'd be a huge pickup. Actually, I don't know. There might not be one. I thought there was one though. Nope, he got. Okay. I don't forgot fun. about them, but hear people talk about that them. means they, they could. That means about. they could come back. I mean, hey, if someone's gonna come back, that's a good thing. And then we got Mango. All right, Mango. Here we got you. Got Shiny. Go. The goats. All right, last round. Last round. Here we go. Mm. Is it Mango? What you got I can't see. It is. All right, I'll pick Mango again. Mango, your last pick. Last pick for Mango is. Stacy. Not bad. And as we They're saw, coming back too. As we They're saw in past years, it honestly doesn't matter how good your groups are. If they don't come back, you don't get the views. You just need people, and Stacy is coming back very soon. And you can legit have a group that comes back like three times in a year and still beat someone who has like twice. Cause... Yeah, they might not do anything. All right. It's my last pick. Who are you going to get? Fog's last pick. Cherry Bullet. I don't know. I'm scared. Ooh, ah. Okay, nice. There you go. He'll come back. You know, I'm pretty sure I drafted him last year. They didn't do anything for me. There you go. Like on purpose. You got faith. Still on the rookie contract. They really are. Next, we got Mike with his last pick. All right, Mike. Here we go. Purple kiss. Solid. Solid pick. Should. They're also very active. Last pick for Zag. Who's it gonna be? It sounds windy outside. The boys. The boys with the Z. Boo. That plays in Man, he has got a lot of good He's gonna love that. that. It might actually work out pretty good for him. Actually, his first three were girl groups. Last three were boy groups. This right. team's actually pretty good. Even. 
50-50. Last pick for JT. All right, who do we got? There it is. Cherry Bullet. Dude, he did it! All right, well, they're coming back, so that's points. Let's go. I'll take Cherry Bullet. You know, I'm pretty sure you drafted Cherry Bullet last year. Did I? Or you had him for at least one song in Love So Sweet came out. I and think you, I and did. Then dropped him. And then I dropped him. Uh, all right, welcome back, ladies. We're back. All right. We're really just getting down to that nitty-gritty when you're running out of Groups of picks, you just go to your bread and butter, what you know. You just got to get what you got to get the teams that you have um, some experience and with. Josh is going to get I. Oh, crap. Boo. Oh, boy. Last that was a bit. That was a huge pick right there. <laughs> was, that was huge. Last, pick last, for round, last round, Ive is honestly pick of the day. All right. Gosh, come on, paper. Gravity. Okay. Gravity for Arsis. Last pick of the 2020 K-pop kimchi fantasy draft is going to go to Marcus. A lot of picks left, too. Or a lot of pieces of paper left. And he's going to get... Who is going to be boy group Mr. Girl girl. I'm going to go boys. Mr. Irrelevant. Mm. Pentagon. There you go. That's a pretty good last pick. Man, that was the best way to draft ever. I know, it right? took like 10 minutes. <laughs> it really did. Let's see what the other Let's ones Let's see are. who else is on the board because that's the most fun part is seeing who's is in the free agent pool right now. There's quite a few guys left and gals. WJSN. Yep. Signature. Signature. Honestly, I don't know when Signature is going to come back. Day six. SF9. This is the most fun part, just seeing the name. This can be a whole episode where it's just listen. The people that did it negative. Vivs? Vives? V-I-V-Z? Billy? Yeah. They're pretty high up there on the top of the Momo world. Land. Momo Land in Mexico. Oh, the last number two seed. ATs. Oh, well, that's pick C. That would have been a clutch man, pick in the last one. Man, that would have been. That's a great free agent there for who, if someone Oh, wants. the last number one seed. NCT 127. Oh, we see we talked about them. We forgot they existed. In hyphen. Last one here. So there's Mon- a Monster X. They actually came back a lot last there's year. There's a one and two seed in the free agent portal, or the transfer portal, and light some. So. That was a pretty good draft, though. It was. I feel like teams are pretty good. So to recap, Mango has twice Super Junior, Treasure, Omega X, Shiny, and Stacy. Fog has TXT, 17, Kepler, Weekly, Tribe, and Wua. Mike, the newcomer this year, has Big Bang, Mamamoo, Secret Number, The Rose, Wanus, and Purple Kiss. Zeg actually has a good team. Yeah. He's got Itzy, Dreamcatcher, Promise 9, Wavy, Kingdom, and the Boys. Mm hmm. JT's got Stray Kids, Blackpink, Oh My Girl, Extraordinary Heroes, Wacky Mackey, and Cherry Bullet. Josh has Red Velvet, Everglow, Winner, A Pink, MCND, and Ive. Arsis has BTS, Idol, AB6, Astro, Luna, and Cravity. And then Marcus has Aespa, NCT Dream, Golden Child, Rocket Punch, P1 Harmony, and Pentagon. There it is. You know, honestly, if I was going to make a draft and split teams up evenly, that sounds pretty even. Seems, I mean, honestly, I, I don't know. It just, it's hard to tell because people come back people don't come back but yeah i feel like it's split up pretty evenly amongst everyone like you're not like oh wow this team is easily gonna win because blah 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 like and you don't really know but it's crazy too because there's a so there's like so many and it's like like we're saying it doesn't matter i could have had bts black pink and twice yeah, and someone could have had don't. freaking wacky mackie but huh? if the only one that came back in a year is wacky mackie then they're gonna uh, win. yeah and like honestly i feel like the key is just some of these like kind of mid-tier boy groups that come back quite a bit like that's that's points, like, cause those are gonna get views. Yeah, I think it was good. I I like my team. My team's pretty cool so far. Damn, you know what we should have done before we open all those. We should have just made like a random seventh team, and that was just the random one that nobody had to see how good uh, they were everybody. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. <laughs> been ATs. NCT, NCT one twenty seven. Freaking uh, WJSN. Lights them. It's a pretty solid squad too. It would have been kind of an equal squad to everyone else. Yeah. No. That's nice. Draft. Nice too. Six teams easier to keep up. Actually, I don't really remember how many teams we had last year, but we had six. Did we? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that'll be solid. That was a nice way to do draft. I liked it. The randomness is always the best. Yeah, I I'll like my to, team. Your team's, inform, your team's really good. I'll have to inform the other people who are actually in the draft this year, and this is what's going are on. like. I decline, and then those can just be the ghost teams. <laughs> Here, just for uh, purposes of the waiver wires. 
Heads, it's going to go. Mango will be on the waiver wire first. Tails will be the other way. Okay. It's the fairest way to do it. It always is. It is. <laughs> Tails. Tails, yeah, so Marcus. So Marcus is number one on the waiver wire, which actually is fair because he had the last pick in the first round. Although, waivers are kind of weird like that. I don't know. So, you can still pick up solo people if you want solo people. Oh, yeah. Well, I feel like Marcus is definitely going to do that. So, you can like drop a group if you want to. Just pick up like Somi or pick up like IU or somebody if you want to do that. Yeah. I just didn't put him in the thing because it's like... Yeah, it would have been a lot of people. Oh. That was a good number of groups right already because it was good to have some extra because you didn't know for sure. Like, you wouldn't run out. But, obviously, if we had, like, way more, then it would be like, okay. It was nice having just the separation between the tiers of groups because then you're just guaranteed to get a bang. Then, like, people got good team, you know. Bangers. So. But that was my whole thing for today. That was our. That was the episode for the day, this, folks. I we're already uh, we're already on our third year of the draft, so it's been different every year. This was a new year to do it, so it's just one of those things where I was gonna ask them because I know they asked me about it before, and I'm just because like, oh, we're we gonna do it next year, blah blah blah. It was yeah. just so much work, especially now that everyone's like actually working and has jobs and stuff. It just we uh yeah, it's definitely um. It would have just been a lot to line up. It was cool last year doing it how we did, but this was just more convenient, honestly, just because everyone's busy doing stuff. And to be honest, I don't know if anyone's getting a better team, if they would have drafted a better team. I don't I don't think so. Honestly, they probably would have been a lot worse. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, Josh's team now is way better than it was last year. I'm trying to see in the last. And the teams, honestly, might not even look that much different than they are. on like. So I guess we did our last draft last year on the January 14th. So like a month ago. But I mean, nothing's really happened since then. I guess there's been a couple of comebacks, but yeah. When did and it's nice because we know some of these groups are coming back, so people are going to get some points. That's why I was trying to do it before they came back. Yeah, because March is looking like a pretty solid month. March is looking good so far. Like really good, actually. So I think the first year we did the draft is February sixth. So I mean, so there we go. Yes, this, this is right around. Right in point. line. Right in line. Right in line. Let yeah. us know what you guys think. Which team you think is going to win? I don't know. It's hard to tell, honestly. You know, surprisingly, I did not think Marcus was going to win last year, but he had twice, and they came back a lot. And ironically, the choice to include Japanese comebacks really helped Josh out a lot, but also screwed him over because twice had a, more comebacks had than... A uh, and uh, IU helped. IU killed him. We'll see if Marcus decides to try and pick up IU. Because Dude, honestly, IU's a first-round like, draft pick that, if you want to win. That was like his his like main draft pick last year. The thing that really helped out in the IU thing was she won so many show awards. Yeah. I mean like a ton of show awards. Dude, I don't know, man. Josh has Ive. That's Dude, I know I've just I was one comeback where it can just be the greatest group of all that's time. That's a force one. to be reckoned with, and he got him super late. You never know, but Dude, that six round Ive might be the steal of the draft. I think so. I think so. But it was fun because it was random, so Nothing, the other one that I think nothing gonna, you could do about it. The other one that I think is going to be super good, I think uh, Extraordinary Heroes is going to do pretty good. Yeah. I think they'll at least like come back. Especially for boy groups. That's I, be, think, I think they'll come back. That's What's funny is if thing. they did like an actual draft draft and they pick, I doubt anybody would have ever picked them to be their thing. On, I, Since last year? I feel year, like I would maybe put them on my list just because it was hard last year. Because what was it last year? Thinking the of the boy like, groups. The six like boy groups got taken off the board. I was like, I don't know. Who I was right. like, crap. So I feel like they would be on the list, on someone's list, just because like last year they were all gone in like the first two rounds. And I was like, I don't know who to get. So because we just didn't know as many. But yeah, I I think they'll come back. I'm, I'm happy to have them. And people kind of seem to like them. So the other thing that's fun is this was random. And like the way that they were put in there based off like the number system. Had nothing to do with me putting there on the thing. That was just all like, oh yeah, it was just fan the, votes, the and stats and info. On. So online told us how to do. It's that. It's just like okay, I don't. If people were voting for him to put him up there, that means they must like him. Exactly. Um, Your team yeah, was good. Fun. We'll have to. We'll get all the stuff together. I may or may not tell everybody else they're in. I don't know yet. I kind of like the idea of not telling anyone unless they listen and be like, hey, like. Oh, uh, I mean, I will. It's fine. Because it, does that change anything or not? No, like I mean, it happened. Because, like, who's going to make roster moves anyway? I mean, unless someone really wanted to. It's crazy, though, because, like, NCT 127, you know, will probably be back at some point. But even if you, like, drop somebody now, there's no guarantee that they'd even exactly, come back until like, the end of the year. That's why I'm so like, like, oh, it's a popular group, but. I don't know who's, like, dying to drop someone right at the moment. So. Um. Yeah, so that's fun. I think. This will just be how we do it from now on. <laughs> our, it should be. Our next. Um. Well, not our next, but one of our episodes coming up, we're going to cover a lot of Queendom stuff when Queendom starts. Oh. I think it starts like next month, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Man, March is going to be the best. It's like March is in like a week. We have, yeah, it's weird, in like two weeks or something. We're going to have Queendom in March. There's supposedly Big Bang coming back. Red Velvet's coming back. I think there was other people, but I don't remember. I'm sure we'll get more. Oh, well, Weekly's coming back. Uh, Stacy's coming back. Rocket Punch is coming Rocket back. Rocket Punch is coming back. Cherry Bullet coming back. is coming back. Our wish came true. Cherry Bullet, even though like someone just got COVID. But that's okay, because they're coming back. Uh, yeah, March is going to be like incredible. And then, like you said, Queendom is going to be a thing that we're going to watch every second of and talk all about. And hopefully that's just 700 episodes, so we have something to do for a long time. But... The other thing to look forward to is we'll see if it changed any. Oh. Uh, into March, March Madness bracket. We'll oh yeah, yeah. The fan vote and see who. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. See who's gonna it's be the time champ. For that. We'll I see. forgot who won last year. I have to I, go back and listen to the episode. No idea. Could not even guess. Honestly, it might have been twice. Let's just. I kind of thought I was like twice, probably. <laughs> I think it might have been twice for like Blackpink. I think it might have been twice as well. Safe bet. Because I bet. think I might have been a journal somewhere, but I think like the top, the last final four were all the one seeds. Yeah, and that was when you picked from the uh, the ranker the thing. ranker thing, so it was like dead on. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll do that again. There's a couple upsets. End of March, we'll hit that up. I'm excited for Queendom. I don't even know who's all going to be in it. It's got to be getting announced soon. So what we might do next week is we hype it up all the time, but I don't think anyone's heeded our advice. Maybe we'll do our first ever K drama review and we'll review Be My Boyfriend. Yeah, I've, our favorite K drama of I all wish people, time. I just want to talk about it with people and see what they think. It literally would take you like 30 minutes. Yeah, a little longer. Maybe I'll like say, an I hour. Think it's like maybe a, like an hour or so. A couple hours because I think there's 10 episodes maybe. And they're all like about and they're all like 10 to, to 10 minutes like long. 10, 10 to 15 maybe. So maybe like a couple hours. It's worth it though. It goes by really quick because the episodes are legit not long and you get invested in the story. But for anybody who doesn't want to actually watch it, maybe we'll cover that next week because... We could. I love it. I watch it all my free time. Like, I've watched it multiple times already. It's just the weirdest. I don't even know. I have a lot of opinions, so obviously maybe we should just talk about it. Uh, it was a drama that had Yuju in it. Although I don't Bullet, know if I need so. that sadness going into this Cherry Bullet comeback. <sighs> I'm just glad they're coming back, and I hope Yuju's okay. That's all we hope That's, for. like, all I hope for. And then I hope Queendom has so many groups and is awesome. Same. But hope you guys enjoy the draft. Fun draft episode. number three in the books. We've done it. Oof, that's our third one. I don't know already. if I've seen anybody else do a probably K-pop not. Draft. Probably not because we're just better than everyone. So and I don't know if anyone else really cares enough about fantasy stuff. And I will them. say, if they have done something of like picking groups, they've definitely not like kept it going as like a fantasy for the whole year. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No one's like kept a point total for the whole year. So believe me, I didn't want to, but I did it for the fans. I feel like this year... I would take like days out of my week to get all the videos to just and get, total them all. Yeah, like. just get that. But at least this one's a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about like... If people come back in Japan, you don't have to worry about that. So that's good. Honestly, there was a lot of them that came back. And it was just kind of weird because I had to like roll over points from yeah. uh, previous months. But by that point, I had so many notebooks full of stuff. I'd like search for them. Yeah. But no one got to worry about it this year. Yeah. And honestly, the only groups that really got affected by that are Twice and BTS. So. Yeah. So. It's not like the other groups are really missing out on anything. No. So that was a good call to kind of do away with that. But yeah, it looks good. I'm excited. Teams are all pretty even, I'd say. So that's honestly the most fun part. Super hyped. So. Tune in next week to hear us talk about a K drama. Yeah, we can uh, talk about our favorite K drama next week. But I'm excited for that actually. I am too. We can discuss all about it. It's a big breakdown and really just a fan and get angry. So it'll be perfect. Good times. But uh, yeah, until next week, I'm JT. He's Fog Raw. We are always the K-Pop Country Podcast. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.